Hello and welcome to the second part of our look at the heroes of Battleborn. I'm Lee Bradley and I'm joined once again by Dan Webb. Hi, how's it going? Who in the last video said that Destiny is the perfect no, game. No, no, I did not. You did say I those did, actual words. I didn't. I said <laughs> Destiny took elements, tried and tested elements from other games and put them under one room. Things like the, you know, like the, the raids from MMOs, um, the RPG aspects. The, the MOBA aspects when it comes to powers and stuff like that and put it all under one roof and this it's no surprise then that the fuck is going on <laughs> this, is my, this is my favourite character he's called Marquis he's like a posh English butlery kind of dude um, with a pistol and a sniper rifle okay. that what you just saw was one of his powers it's uh, a it's little owl in a hat it's his ultimate and it flies around uh, causing damage to things I suppose in a similar way to is it the Mechromancer? No. Who was the one that had a dragon that flew around in, um, like a mech dragon that flew around in Borderlands? Destiny. Maybe that was. <laughs> Why are you got obsessed by Destiny? Because it's I'd, it's so similar to doing a strike mission. No, mate. It's Borderlands, but with different features. But no, because but like it's a cross between Borderlands and Destiny. Do you not know think? And a MOBA. Yeah, for sure. Because obviously you got the cooldowns and stuff, uh, and your powers, you level up. Per round, each round is in its own kind of self-encompassing. It is weird that they're, the leveling works within each round because I I get why they do it in multiplayer games, as in competitive multiplayer games. It's interesting that they've chosen to do it in um, uh, what is just a co-op. This is the co-op mode that we're looking at. Did you play any other modes? No, it was just story. It's all they had. And it was a relatively short level that we had to play as well. So we just went through it, kind of concentrating on the characters. He is the best one. It feels really nice to shoot. When he's um, sniping, uh, I think it's his second shot from every mag is uh, does that extra damage. It might be his third shot. Um, what are his other powers, tell me? Oh god, he's got uh, like an area attack thing. You can see it now, he's going through it. This is what I was saying earlier. There's two kind of sides and you have to pick between the sides. And one of them is kind of a, a, a passive um, action, and one of them is a more aggressive. I just picked aggressive all the time. This is an area of attack, uh, area of effect attack that slows people down a bit and causes uh, damage to them. So you can see all of the the numbers flying off him. Uh, he's the best, maybe because he's English. Do you think it's like racist? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you think I'm just being a bit racist? Closet racist. Yeah, maybe. I like it. <laughs> Of what He's the best. Right. Look at him, spinny sword dude. You're into Wrath, spinny sword dude, who's not a vampire but looks and acts a lot like one. Is this a completely different level? No, same thing. I, yeah, it's just I was like, this is an exchange of vu. Yeah, well, we're just kind of we're Shut jumping around. Yeah, we're oh, trying. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's awesome, right, little owl dude. Hello. Where's he gone? <laughs> Didn't use him. He's gone. Is I he was gonna him? do the format of these. Is I was gonna read some of his blurb, but you're not having it, are you? Well, I, I just think that people will be more interested to talk about, or well, to hear about the abilities and the, the different random topics that we decide to bring up <laughs> um, instead of us reading out something that you can find on xboxachievements.com, playstation trophies.org, just search for Battleborn, all the news and everything is on there, all the trailers, all the videos, um, and eventually the achievements, the guides, and all of our stream stuff. I am preparing a nice thing that will go up on embargo that breaks down each of the characters as well with those official descriptions and images. Um, so if you want to read like official info from the developers, you we'll certainly can. We'll put the can. link in the uh, comments. Yes, we will. In the comments? In the description. <laughs> Who's this dude? Alright, this is, oh, what's his name? Caldarius. What's with the shit names? You're not into Caldarius? Oh, Calderon. What's Calderon from? I don't know. I don't know where I got that name Isn't from. Isn't that like a cleaning fluid? Uh, it might be. I, I like this dude though. Oh, you like him now? Well, right. he's got a terrible name. He looks like, um, the gun looks like the Halo gun. He's one of the dudes that, I think he flies around a bit. I didn't play he as did, this He just fella. climbed up a, up a tower. Look at his gun, it looks like the, um, the new guns out of uh, Halo 4. I said the new guns. The guns out of Halo 4. It does a bit. The, the, uh, the four energies. They're yeah. not called the four energies, are they? They're called Prometheans. We've had this talk before. There's Prometheus. They're, what are the things in Mass Effect called? Prometheans. And then what are the things in Halo called? Oh shit. Are they, are they called Prometheans? <laughs> See? I get confused. Yeah, though. yeah. I, I wasn't until... Yeah. 
What do you think about the look of it? Because it is slightly different to Borderlands. I'm loving how bold it is and kind of comic booky. Yeah, I like that. They're really good at making characterful um, like designs. The the thing about it is, if you go to PAX or something like that, you can't move for people dressing up, yeah. doing cosplay as Borderlands characters. When I was researching this and having a look around for some more images, people are already cosplaying really? as these people. And there's only been like, what, two trailers and a gameplay video maybe? Do you reckon it's going to be as successful as some other MOBAs? I don't know, but it's not a MOBA. But it, there is a MOBA mode, right? Yeah, it's just one mode. What, I said to him. Thing that they're gonna, yeah, but essentially League of Legends is like, the only mode that I ever watch is the stuff with the lanes. It's funny though because so I... So you only need one MOBA mode, right? I said to it in the interview, they were always going to give this answer, but I said in the interview, uh, I interviewed the Vice President of Gearbox. Steve Gibson. And I said, you led with the announcement of uh, the MOBA mode, which is called Incursion. Um, I know you're showing a single player, but the MOBA thing's the main deal, right? And he was like, nah. Um, not at all. They're not focusing on that as the main thing. I don't know if he's just saying that because if he goes, yeah, yeah, that's the main thing. Don't worry about story. Do, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you think story? a lot of people are like, oh, it looks fun, but I'm not interested in a MOBA. And they're like, okay, we need to get our audience back. I think it's got, again, I'm just speculating, but I think it's got to do with the fact that MOBAs aren't proven on console. Yeah. It only takes one though, right? Yeah, I guess, and if you're the first... And then... I, I would get into a MOBA if I was any good. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're difficult. This is it's... not. This is far more immediate and familiar and easy to pick yeah, up. Yeah, I can do FPSs. Yeah, exactly. And like you've just got a few specials that are on recharge and stuff yeah. like that. It's nothing to worry about. It's not like going into League of Legends is super like stressful. by the way. Now we're a mushroom. Right, mushroom. I've played as mushroom. Mushrooms are... Are we really a mushroom? Yeah. Miko. Miko the Mushroom. Miko the Mushroom. Does somebody jump on him and they get bigger? No. Uh, so Miko is, has got a lot of um, like healing stuff. Uh, so he, she, it can heal people. I'd go with it. <laughs> it's uh, a safe bet. Can do like uh, area things. You can see him here. Drop spores along the way to the target covering a large area. Uh, and also flings these little throwing knives. Not the most powerful, oh, obviously. I think, this, I think this is the guy that saw in the trailer. I was actually editing when we were doing our most anticipated games. Okay. This was the guy that was like, oh, this is cool. I didn't realise there was a fucking mushroom. <laughs> even when, I think, you'll see the interview will be up, but even the um, one interviewed Steve, he, was, he wasn't calling the characters by their names. He was like, the mushroom guy. He was yeah. like that, the crazy mushroom guy. I, I think he picked him as one of his favourites. Um, all about Ruff. You're still into Ruff, aren't you? What about uh, the the big chain gunner dude? Before. Not doing it for you, know the one coming up. Oh, well, I don't know who do yeah. I. Yeah, we seen him running around. Oh, but it's different running around. I actually seen that happen. So Mushroom, consistent with his look, has got. It's all about spores and like fungus. What's this? Is, he, is he like fucking powder cake? The only thing I didn't like about this character is that he's a mushroom. You don't get any sense of impact in the combat. With Marquis, who is the 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 butler sniper dude, robot dude, when you shoot something, it feels like you're shooting something. With this one, you just kind of farting blades into stuff. Dying. This isn't me, right? I know, I know, I know, I know. This isn't me. Why would you put that in B-roll? Oh, because I suppose it shows what it looks like. You can revive characters, obviously. And it shows what it looks like. If you don't get revived in time, like you just saw, you get sent back a little bit further and you have to catch up with everybody. That is how it works. So it's not like you're out. But there's a bit of a reset time and you have to catch everybody up. Okay, fair enough. By which time you're essentially just running through the really remains easy. of the battle. This is so easy. It was so easy. We played through it like four times, something like that. Um, and you just blast through it. I don't know, actually I do know, I asked him about it in the interview and they explained that this is the E3 build. We played it before E3 but this is what they're taking to E3 and there's kind of weird rules with regards to creating demos that you play on the show floor because it's not the most, it doesn't lend itself to playing games E3 really, does it? No, it's not like you're going to sit there and go, right, I'm going to get into it. Yeah, song. exactly. Look at all the, uh, the classes. Yeah, you just want to kind of blast through it. And this is the first time that people are really playing it as well. 
So it's about kind of introducing the world and the characters as, and the kind of core gameplay as much as it is anything else. Question. Yes. What do you think the uh, reception is going to be like at E3 to this game? I think it might get lost in the noise. It's a really generic name, isn't it? It is a generic name, right? Battle Even the Ball. logo is a bit kind of... I don't know. Yeah. I'm but not into the name. No, but it's anything but generic when you look at it. It's got a really nice art style. It's really Each distinctive. character is well thought out and they're really different from one another, like a, like a good MOBA. Yeah. I think the the main thing that you have to ask is... Is, it, it, is he like a medic? Yeah. Uh, the main thing you have to ask is... Heavy. Yeah, I don't really have to explain about this, do, do I? He's shoot got a shit. big gun. You shoot things. But yeah, sorry, what are you going to say? Uh, oh, it's the community. This game will live and die by the community. And Gearbox have got hardcore fans that will just follow them to the ends of the earth, right? They've got a lot of goodwill built up from the Borderlands franchise. And that's the real thing. Because something like League of Legends, I know it's not a MOBA, we've had that old discussion, but something like... League, League of Legends yeah. is a MOBA? Yeah. It's, it's not a MOBA. I know this isn't a MOBA. Oh! Um, so it's not a, a great one on my comparison. But that stuff grew and flourished because of the community. It wasn't because the press were writing about it. No one gave us a shit about League of Legends for ages. And then suddenly it was the biggest game in the world. Um, I think that um, Gearbox have got that kind of following. That, do you? Yeah, I do. Well, I just said it. Like, when you go to PAX, like, every other person's dressed up like a psycho, a tiny mm. Tina. But Borderlands doesn't sell like 10, 20 million units. It sold fuckloads. I think that was the official number. Did sell a lot. The first and second one sold a lot. Yeah, I, I guess I'm thinking because the last two Borderlands experiences on my head are the Hanson collection and uh, the pre sequel, which weren't Gearbox. Well, obviously, well, the Hanson yeah, yeah, collection yeah, was, mean, yeah, but yeah, yeah. not in terms of new. I never played the pre sequel. Uh, I previewed it, we previewed it. Oh, yeah, I played it for about 10 that's, minutes. That's the only, well, it was about an hour. Yeah, but I spent most of my time putting money into a fruit machine. <laughs> With the developers. They're trying to show us the game and I was just playing the fruit machine. And I was just fighting them. <laughs> oh yeah, remember like that ice fight? Yeah, but yeah, I thought that was a really good uh, video. Yeah, I think we should go and watch that, even though the game's out. <laughs> it's hilarious. We decided to... I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the developers and won. Did you win? Almost. I reckon he let you win. No, he didn't, mate. No. Showing him my skills. Alright, fair enough. I was like, chuk, chuk, clap, trap, chuk, chuk, clap, trap. <laughs> All right. Is this fucking little dude as well? Have we been in yet? No, he's the last is character that we're going to be looking at, and he gonna... is next. Who's, uh, who's this one on the right? Must Marquis. Okay. And then Boulder, who's why, why next. Why is Wrath here as well? What do you mean, why is he here? Well, if it's two fives, I would have thought there would be like... Because there's ten characters we're looking at, right? Yeah, but only five. Is five player co -op. Yeah, so there should be five characters in each video that are completely different. Raph oh, keeps... I see what you mean, separate groups. Yeah, but Raph keeps popping up. Yeah, no, I didn't do it like that. I haven't got the B-roll for that, unfortunately. So this dude's pretty slow. Is He's the last super dude? powerful. No, Boulder's the next character. Oh, yeah, sorry, the last a, little, a little hobgoblin. He's slow and powerful. He's like the tanky one. Here you go, Boulder. Nobody that I, that I went to the event with played as this dude. Why? I don't know. We only had a limited amount of playthroughs, so we kind of had to pick our battles. So I don't know anything about him oh, other than... Are you using shards to upgrade that? Yeah, to make him stronger. Okay. Um, other than, he's a little dwarfy dude with a big axe. And a shield, right? Yeah. What's that thing on the left? It's a shield. Yeah. You can charge people at, at people with it. I don't even know what was he doing. He's killing people, Dan. Oh, well, that's a cool man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about this dude at all. Which is the kind of expertise what? you probably came here for, viewers. Are oh, there people going to see the gameplay? And our colour commentary? I hope so. I'm going to read the thing out, even though you don't like me doing it, because I want to remember what he's all about. What's his name? Boulder the Unbreakable. Boulder the Unbreakable is a dwarf who has a shield and an axe. Don't do the voice, please. He came from a small planet where... The people on his planet victimized him and made them go into the mines to make weapons. He was pissed off, so he killed everyone. Am I yep, close? That's exactly it. What's the actual one? Oh, he's a dwarf. He's you a know. dwarf. 
There you go. Uh, he survived the last two millennia of interruptions to his quiet forest life through sheer stubbornness, apparently. <laughs> All right. It? So we're back uh, towards the end of the final boss. This was the last character. Any last questions, Dan? No. <laughs> Based on this, what do you think of Battleborn? Uh, are there going to be raids? That's my question. No. No. Uh, I think it looks alright. I like it. Um, I'm intrigued. Uh, that's the... Yeah. I don't think there's enough to make a proper judgement. Nice moon. It looks pretty. It plays pretty. There's loads of... Like, it plays system. pretty. It plays nicely. Okay. Um, uh, it's got a, a distinct art style. I like a lot of the characters. I like the diversity of it. I want to see more before I make any kind of judgement. So that is what I'm saying. I agree. I've been Lee Bradley. I've been Dan Webb. And that was a look at the last five characters of the ten they've announced so far for Gearbox's Battleborn. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon. Bye.